you've acquired quite the following on social media channels, and you're thinking about becoming a brand ambassador for some of your favorite brands. My name is Ken. This is The Daily Vlog. We're talking about becoming a brand ambassador and some of the takeaways that I've learned from over the years. Stick around. Uh, there's going to be some explanations. Roll the intro. <laughs> So we're starting to see more and more companies adopting a brand ambassador program to help promote their brand on social media. And it's a pretty good tactic for companies to find a somewhat inexpensive means to promote their brand. So just like last year and the year before, I put a post on my website about what it means to be a brand ambassador and things you can do to make yourself more attractive to these companies. So this video is going to be the cliff notes. If you want to see all about this, you can just you can go to my website, runningwithken.rocks. I post about being a brand ambassador and some of the things that you should consider before applying to become a brand ambassador, ambassador for a brand. So the first thing is first, when you apply to become a brand ambassador, I think it goes without saying, you're gonna to have to be able to deal with some rejection at first, especially if your social channels don't quite meet the criteria for that brand. Just be prepared to deal with some rejection in the beginning. And this can have different effects on different people. Some people it turns you away from a brand and other times it makes you want it that much more and that you work harder in hopes of gaining recognition to be able to join that brand. So the very first takeaway, if you want to become a brand ambassador for a specific brand, rule number one is, do you actually use their products? So as you can see, I wear and use a lot of Brooks Running products, their gear, their shoes. It's a brand that's promoted on my social channels quite frequently, so it's no surprise that I've been selected to join the Brooks Run Happy team. And that was by no mistake. It was purely by my design, my hard work and dedication to show on my social channels that yes, I own and use the products. I'm not saying you need to break the bank and purchase every product known to mankind that that company makes, but if you would like to become a brand ambassador for a company, it's really important that you actually use their products. Another great example of a brand that I use and promote very frequently on my social channels is Aftershocks, the makers of these amazing bone conducting headphones. Let me get you zoomed in on them bad boys. Where are we going to zoom? Wait, which way is it? Nope, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. There we go. These bone conducting headphones. If you look in about 90, I would say 80 to 90% of my social posts. I am wearing the Aftershocks headphones. And again, that's not by pure coincidence, that's purely by design. I like these brands, I use their products, I promote them on my social channels. So if you would like to become a brand ambassador for a product, I cannot stress enough, you probably should use their products and already be featuring them on your social channels so that way the brand can see your voice and how you will actually show their products on your channel. And that kind of ties into the second part of being an ambassador for a company is how are you going to promote these products on your social channels? It's really helpful if some of the brands that you would like to represent collaborate and actually work together. So for instance, Bibrave, I do a lot of work with Bibrave. I've been a Bibrave pro for the last, uh, I think we're doing four. This will be my fifth year, fourth year with Bibrave. Um, a lot of their stuff is integrated with other products that I'm also an ambassador for. So this Bibrave logo is on a Brooks canopy jacket. So it's like a two for one kind of a special. I'm showcasing Brooks. I can hashtag Brooks on this. And then I can also hashtag Bibrave because it has the Bibrave logo. The same thing goes for this hat. This is a Boko Gear hat and it has the Bibrave logo. So once again, I'm showcasing two brands in one. So where it gets complicated for me is if you want to represent a brand, but it's not really easy to showcase their products. Now I use GoPro cameras for a lot of my running footage. 
I hashtag GoPro and tag them and a ton of stuff. They're a big company, they get a lot of it. So I'm not really on their radar, but it's one of those products that I use all the time, but it's really hard to showcase that product on my social channels. And so I kind of took the hint and after a while I stopped tagging GoPro and a lot of stuff because it's one of those products that I just have a hard time showcasing. I can show you what it does and I can show you the output of the videos that I can make with the GoPro camera, but to actually showcase the product itself is a little bit difficult. And those are the brands and those are the types of partnerships that you wanna be really cognizant of how you're going to represent that brand. Now I've severed some ties with brands that are in the consumable market because when it comes to consumables, I'm talking like your hydration gels, your energy shots, all that stuff, that's really hard to showcase on a social media platform unless you are making a conscious effort to post the packaging, what the product looks like. Again, it's one of those things to take into consideration. So one, do you use the product? And two, how do you showcase that product on your social media channel? So the third and final takeaway would be what's in it for you. It sounds really selfish, but I think it's going to benefit you and the brand the most if it's a program that you're passionate about and that you feel that you are properly compensated for the work that you put into it. If you feel like a brand rewards you handsomely for your efforts, it's going to be worthwhile for both you and the brand. Again, I could probably go on and on about this, but I think it's really important that you feel like you get your fair share for the work that you do for that brand. After all, it's gonna be your time and energy going into the presentation. So it's all about how you're rewarded. And if you don't feel like you're being rewarded favorably or you're being compensated enough for your time, it's not gonna be worth it for you. You're gonna stop putting in the effort and the brand isn't gonna see that investment on that return or that investment in you being in their program. So I realize it's a little bit shorter of a video today, but um, it is the time of the season where people are applying to become ambassadors for different programs. I wish everyone the very best of luck, and I will see you guys on the next one. Now I actually have a survey going on on my Twitter that I will put a link in the description. If you belong to an ambassador program and wanna share your thoughts on what you like and don't like about the program, be sure to check out my Twitter post and there is a link to a survey that I'd like for you to fill out. So far, what I have gotten back is pretty interesting. And what I'm hoping to do is gather enough input from different users, from different ambassador programs to kind of generate a list of some of the best programs out there and some of the things that people like and dislike about programs without naming them specifically. My goal is to share that on social media so that some brands may see it take a look at it, see what people like and don't like, and maybe consider adding or changing to their ambassador programs. One day I'm gonna to have to do a review slash opening unboxing of the Rode Wireless Go To microphones and how to set those up and dial those in because they have been absolute lifesavers for me. Thankfully, the Wireless Go To mics record and store what you capture on them. So in the event that the receiver becomes disconnected from the camera or you are a goofball and don't set it up correctly, this will save your butt. And so today, thank you, Rode, because you saved my butt. Anyway. Hashtag not sponsored, but would like to be. That'd be cool, wouldn't it?